secrets if you really look at yourself you will be speechless what happened to being doctors and teachers what happened to being your brother's keeper nowadays kids more worried Okay guys, we're back. Second part of the quest. Now we're going to enter the pub and there should be some sort of cutscene. I think that's... Yeah, there we go. And this dude here, this vampire Malak, whatever he's called, he's uh, wanting some blood off this dude. Bit, I don't know. But still, it's quite nice of him to ask. Anyway, we come in and we're going to ask him for the blood diamond. So, let's see. Um, where's the option? Where's the option? I'm looking for a special diamond and we're wanting it. So, he, he's got the blood diamond. We need to go kill some dude, Dessus, I think his name is. And that's going to help us with the quest. So, we need to know everything about Dessus, really. We need to know how to kill him. We need to know where he is. Stuff like that. Just general stuff like that. I'll tell you what, guys. I don't want you guys to have to sit through all this. So, I'm going to get back to you at the next part of the quest. Okay, guys. We're back. And this dude is going to make us a silver pot, which we're going to fill with blood and stuff, which is going to be awesome. So, anyway. I don't know why he's wearing some... That graphic head is fucking amazing. Anyway, is he gonna... Come on. You're not gonna take it? Um. Oh, he's gonna want us to just... There you go. I have no... Can we smith it ourselves? Um. Steel. Steel pot. Come on. Oh my goodness. So, guys. I'm gonna have to check what I've gotta do, and I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. We're back, and I had a steel bar, not a silver bar. That is why it messed up. So, anyway... Well, just, there we go. He's given us a silver pot. Now I believe we've got to go to and try and get that blessed. So I'm going to go do that. And I'll be back in a second. Okay, guys. So I'm just going to get this pot blessed at the high priest here. Hopefully he'll do it quickly. There's it done. There we go. Now I've got to go back to Canopus. I won't bother skipping because as soon as we get there, we're doing stuff. So, yeah. This is almost done. All we've got to do is get some blood in there. Crush that. Put it in there. Put that in there. And then we've got to go kill Dessus. And then get ourselves the blood diamond, which is going to be awesome. Then we've only got two more to go. We'll be done. I'm just going to recharge my prayer points quickly because we might need to pray against him. I don't know how much health he's got. I mean, if it was anything like the last fight, we're not going to even need food, really. Well, as long as we don't get stat reduced stuff. Anyway, less of me blabbing on and more of this. Sorry if the commentary's a little bit dull as well, guys. My throat is still killing me like it's taken all of my uh, energy to just get this commentary going. So, let's get on. Okay, there we go. He's hit us and filled our pot with blood. Now we need to crush his garlic. Put it in there. Use a spice, put it in there, and we got ourselves a pot of stuff. So, let's talk to Malak and see what he says. Oh, okay, we've got to go kill him now. I know where he is. So, yeah, the walk's a bit of a pain, so I'll get back to you when we get there. Okay, guys, we're here. We lost a couple of bits of food, which was a bit of a pain, but still, we should still manage. Now, I've just got to choose my best air spell, which is that. And now we need to use the blessed pot on this dude's thing here. And he will spawn up, hopefully. There we go. Here he comes, he just hopped us, and there we are. He's going to try slapping us for stuff, but he isn't going to succeed in killing us. Because look at that. I remember when this used to be a hard quest, like a really freaking hard quest. So that's the second kill done. Now I need to go back to the dude and get myself the blood diamond. So guys, we're back. We're going to speak to Malak here, and he's going to give us that blood diamond. The blood just... Okay, yeah. So anyway, he's given us that. Now, the thing is, if we hold on to this too long, some dude can come and try and kill us. So we're going to want to put that away. And once I've put this in the bank, we're going to start the third part of the quest. So, there we are. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're back, and we need to light all of these torches at the same time. It's an incredibly fast-paced thing, so we're just going to be running straight through this. Hopefully, we do it first time. We haven't got the greatest amount of restore pots, which is a bit of a pain. We've got here energy pot 3, which isn't very, you know useful but still we're gonna keep on going for it hopefully we'll manage this pretty well so that's the second torch over there we've got ourselves a face mask on as well so we don't die down here because otherwise we're gonna take 200 damage every like second or something which is stupid so i don't think farid himself is going to be a particularly hard kill i think he's got the same 3k health as everybody else we've got ourselves water spells we've got ice gloves so we can't take our weapons off of us so i think now is about decent there we go 20 percent off each pot that'll probably do as i'd imagine so we've got two that's 40 percent add another 60 that's 140 percent left which is not bad that will probably get us through it i'm just going to use that again just keep on top of things and so yeah we're almost at the third one this is going a bit better than i think i was imagining but we'll just have to see so i hope this is just as fast paced i'm saying i'm not just like getting really panicky because it's like 
going to take forever. Anyway, what do you think of Dust Owl, guys? I think they look a bit weird now. They look pretty cool before, but I don't know. They look alright. They should have called those like Dust Bunnies because they look like bunnies. But still, still. So here's our next torch. One more to go. It's just south of us, so we're just going to run down there now. And then we need to go and open a chest and get ourselves a nice key from inside. So, so, so. Where are we going? Where are we going? Come on. Hopefully this is working. If, I think it might come up with a message if we've not done it in time. But hopefully that won't need to happen. So, oh shit, it's in the bottom corner. Oh shit, that was close. Okay, that's the torch we want to light. Light that and run to the middle very, very quickly. There we go. That's all four torches lit. The path is lit. Now claim the key. So we'll just go claim that key. Let's have a nosy. This is, I think, the shortest stage. All we have to do is get this key, kill him, and we get ourselves the smoke diamond, which is awesome. So, let's open this, and there's ourselves the warm key. So, I'm going to get back to you guys when we get to the next part. Okay, guys, so we're at the gate. Now, what we need to do is open this. I believe we're going to get attacked as soon as we enter. Yes, we've got icicles on here. He isn't going to disarm. Let's see if we can kill him before he gets to us. Probably not. No. Ah, damn it. That was so close, though. Anyway, there we go. He's dead. Let's get ourselves our diamond. There's a the smoke diamond, guys. I'm going to go bank that and get on with the final diamond. Okay, guys, we're here. We need to speak to Rosalo here. Razzalo, whatever he's called, and we need to ask him about these diamonds. Now, he's got a ring that we need to get, the ring of visibility, and he will only trade it with us if we get him this thing that he's got missing. Can't remember what it's called now, but anyway, that's what we've got to go pickpocket. It's going to take an incredibly long time to get because we need a lot of lockpicks. Lockpicks are very hard to get, so that means we're going to have to pickpocket an incredible amount of bandits. So, let's get over there. And I'll see you guys in a second. So, guys, we're here in this tent. And this is a chest we need to open. And it is going to take a seriously large amount of lockpicks to do it. There we go. Messed up already. Let's drink that anti-poison and start again. Go through these four. If I get nothing, I'm just going to have to pickpocket loads of them off people, which is going to be really painful. So, didn't even get past the first lock that time. Let's see. You attempt to pick first lock. Breaks. And last time. First lock breaks um so yeah i'm gonna have to pickpocket an incredible amount of bandits so i'll see you guys in a second okay guys we're back it's only been about a minute and we managed to get a full inventory of um lockpicks well i say full inventory four lockpicks to fill up the inventory which was not bad so anyway pick the first lock fail on second lock let's try that again our poison's expired so we're gonna have to use that again so let's have a look messed up again let's drink that dose Two more to go, then we're going to have to get some more. Let's see. And get past the first one. Fail on the second one. Story of our lives. Anyway, last time, then we're going to get more lockpicks. Messed up on the first one. So, guys, I'm going to have to go pickpocket some more lockpicks. I'm going to see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I just got 54 thieves. Okay, guys, I don't know what just happened, but... Um, well, I do know what happened, actually. My hard drive filled up, which was a bit of a pain. I'd saved loads of recording i just hadn't got around to deleting it so i've just deleted loads of those and got myself some space now i've used maybe like 20 lock picks so far none of them have done a thing it is really frustrating these guys are just hitting me for everything i've got it is really frustrating look at this he just catches me first time they've been doing it since last invent of pick lock picks haven't got one this time i've got loads of anti-poisons as you can see but no lock picks i'm hoping i'll get some in a second because Oh, give up. Give up, you stupid sod. I can't do this. It's so painful. Oh, my. Ah, I'm just going to go to Lumbridge and buy two. Oh, I got one there. Okay, I got one. Okay, guys. I'm going to go get some more, and I'll see you guys in a sec. Okay, guys. I'm back, and I've got ten lockpicks. It's taken an incredibly long time to get those, so hopefully they're going to come in useful. Also, don't know if it cut off, but we got 54 thieving. Just going to put that there in case it cut off the last part of the video before. So anyway, let's try this. Let attempt successful with the first, successful with the second. Oh, the third one was the one that messed up. God damn it, there's only three. Oh, I thought there was four. Okay, that's not too bad. So we've, we know we've done two. So let's try again. First done, second fail. Let's try again. Let's see. First lock, second lock. Oh, thank goodness. Right, we've got his Gilded Cross. We are going to go give him that and finish this quest. I'll see you guys in a second. Okay, guys, we're speaking to this dude now, and he's going to give us his Ring of Visibility if he stands still. There we go. Give him his Gilded Cross thing. There's our Ring of Visibility. Now, I believe if we run up here, just east of here, we should be able to see a staircase or something. 
where we're going to be going down. So is it over here? If not, I'm just going to have to look quickly and find where it is. Okay, I can't seem to see it. I thought it was over here. I'll get back to you guys in a second. Okay, guys, I don't know what I've just found, but there's a mysterious ghost here that we can only see with the ring of visibility. And, of course, we... What? Okay, we don't have ghost speak. That's pointless. So we need to be going in here, I believe. There is the ladder, the invisible ladder. And we're going to run straight through. I don't know how long we've been recording, but I might just do all this and show you guys what's happening. Though that said, I do believe we've got to run pretty fast. So actually, no. I'll see you guys when we get to the next boss fight. Okay, guys, he has just appeared out of nowhere. We're going to finish him off. There's safe spots, but we don't need safe spots for this noob right here. Come on, finish him off. Oh, okay, I thought we were going to finish him then. And then. Wow, really? There we go. We finished him. Let's just get him again. Now he's more powerful or something. You know, he's probably just got a little bit more defense or something. No problems whatsoever. We're not even going to bother with the safe spots. We're just going to finish him off with this. Come on, are we going to hit with it? There we go. He is dead. We got ourselves the final diamond, which is just absolutely awesome. So, guys, I'm going to return this, and then we're going to get on with the final part of the quest. Okay, guys, we're back at Eblis, and we're going to speak to him, tell him we've got all the diamonds, then we're going to put them on the pyramid, go through the pyramid, and complete the quest. So, I'm not going to be skipping anything from here on out. I'm just going to be running south to this thing, this pyramid, put all of the diamonds on, I guess, and then run through the maze. The maze, I heard, is kind of a bit of a pain, but still, that's the, uh, looks like the blood one. Not going to lie. I thought if examining it, it would tell us, but apparently not so. That's one up. Let's go do the rest of them. And then we can get in. So I don't know which obelisk that is. Um, let's try smoke. It'll say if it's not right. Um, okay, looks kind of right. Okay, we'll just carry on. So, yeah guys, sorry about the recording thing earlier. I've got a new hard drive. I've just not been saving my RS videos to the new hard drive for some reason. Not a clue why. I probably should do, but still. There we go. One more to go. That obelisk there. Then we climb up the front and go in. And we, then after the quest, we can go through that tunnel to get there quicker. But we can't at the moment, unfortunately. So let's go through here. We're very much well prepared with food. Got some energy pots as well. We've got anti-poison. We've got prayer pot. I don't know if we're going to need prayer, but I brought it just in case. So there we go. The force preventing access to the pyramid has now vanished. That's what we wanted to hear. So let's head up this pyramid. I love this pyramid. It's so cool. But still. Anyway, let's go up and... Are we going through now? There we are, down the ladder. And now I'm not entirely... Whoa, how are we not going down the pillar? There we go. So this is the first one. Very easy. We just run across here. Now there's little beetle things that can come out and get us, I believe. Hopefully that won't be the case this time around. We'll get lucky with it. But still, a lot of energy is going to be needed for this. And we already need to drink an energy pot. That's an entire energy pot gone. I should have probably rested at the top of the pyramid. But still, I'm not fussed. Let's carry on and get down that ladder. So, guys, yeah, I've really enjoyed doing this. It's taken about a couple of hours, which is a bit of a pain. Haven't really had that much time, really, but I've done it anyway. I'm not too fussed. So, next one is around here somewhere, I believe. Um, is it? Oh, we'll have a look. It's fine. I'm sure it'll be around here somewhere. Nope, this isn't where I was thinking of. Up at the top end is where we want it to be. Yep, there. That's right. There we go. Now finding the way. Oh, goodness me, I've not done this quest in a very long time. The last time I did this quest was, I believe, about three, if not four years ago, when everyone still played RuneScape. So much good stuff back then. Oh, shit, there's, there we go. There's things, they scarabs or something, they've spawned. We don't really want them getting us. They can poison us, which is why I've got ourselves an anti-poison. Oh, goodness me. So after this, guys, after this quest, bossing gets easier training gets easier everything just gets easier we've fallen into a trap what on earth what how the heck what wow okay i thought it was a bit more straightforward than that so guys i'm gonna get back to you once i figured out what that was okay guys we have done it finally after absolute ages we got kicked out again which was a pain on floor three that time and there we go so here we are, we'd speak to Azandra here, and we get ourselves some awesome spells, which we're going to be using as well, guys, because I might do Barrows after this, see how well we do. So anyway, 20k Mage XP, which is very nice. Also, three quest points and access to the Ancient Spells, which are on right now. So, we'll skip that. I'll go speak to Eblis in my own time, 
So, what is the spell I can use at the moment? That one. So, Ice Burst is the one I'm going to want to be using. Because that is going to freeze people in place. And that's going to be really useful for Barrows. Anyway, guys, thank you very much for watching. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you leave a like and a comment. And if you haven't got around to it or you knew anything like that, just make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any more videos. Anyway, that's me for today, guys. And I'll see you guys in the next video.